question 19 on the integrated math 2 practice task for teen ready calculators allowed here 18 and 19 are very similar to this year um, in the 2019 year this is question 19 you may see this question and it has a different number on the little title it means they've made a new test and I've changed it but right now it's 19 whatever the length of a garden is six more feet than the width the area of the garden is 40 square feet what is the length in feet of the garden if you haven't seen question 18 for this, go ahead and look at it because it'll save you a ton of time here. Uh, I'm going to base most of what I've done off of it. Again, I have a rectangle. It doesn't say that specifically, but it tells me that I have um, the length being six more than the width. So if they only give me those two pieces of information, I can pretty much work out what that means without them having to tell me what the shape is. even though I, for some reason I can't draw that today. There we are. So I'm looking for the length, but they give me the information in width form. More than, the than means put the width in front, and the six more means add. So I'm just going to make a point for this one. I didn't do it on the last one, and I kind of wish I had that over here I'm going to put length and it would have been nice if I'd actually done it correctly there you go is equal to width plus six because they're making me define the length in terms of width but they want the answer in length it means at the end I need to make a quick adjustment so if you just do this at the very beginning try to find out what the formula is it makes it much easier to go back and remind yourself to do it if you are the type who will never remember to do it you need to reorient the question, and I'll show you that in a second. Well, that would make this width. So if width is six more than the length, I can reorient my point of view for this question and say, well, the width is now the length minus six, and then I just have the length. That way you can solve this one and be done. In this one, which is the one we're going to do, you need to go ahead and solve this once you find out what W is. Okay? Okay. So if you've seen 18, you'll see the same strategy, so I'm going to move it around to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, the area is, of course, length times width. The length is W plus 6. The width is W. And then my length, or my area is 40 feet squared. I'm going to distribute this, w squared plus 6w, and again, if you're the type of person who gets weirded out distributing the w from the right side than the left, just move it in front, it's okay. I mean, multiplication is commutative. You can flip them around and get the same answer. It's okay to do that. Equals 40. I'm going to eliminate 40 on this side, so subtract 40, because I'm trying to get it equal to 0 so I can solve it. It's a quadratic. That's easier to work with. So now that I'm up here, again, I could graph this. That might be the first thing that I try. If I can get this to set up and stuff. So what I would do to graph, of course, I'll bring this down here. It's going to block it a little bit, but not a ton. Um, I'll go in and do clear out the old one and do x squared plus 6x. And when I flip this over, the program, of course, lost the subtraction. So this is minus 40. This is minus 40. Um, now I'll go back and do minus 40. Make sure you don't pick the negative sign there. That's really common, and it'll give you an error when you graph. So if you've done that a lot and you get a bunch of errors, it's probably because you use the negative symbol, which is down here, as opposed to the minus. So I'm just thinking of common mistakes that occur. So I can graph this now. It looks really small. I might zoom this one in, actually. You can also go in and actually just change the... Um, the window, but... In this case, I don't feel like I really need to do that. Now, again, 
you can't have a negative length. So anything that's a solution down here, when we graph, you can actually see the solutions themselves. Um, you can't have negative length. It's not, how long is that? It's negative three. That doesn't make any sense. Um, it has to be the positive one. So I can actually just sort of move over here and get a general view of what it's supposed to be. It's probably going to be around four. I can also hit second graph and go to the table and just look to see, well, I guess it's that x is equal to four. And see how it's four and zero. I'm trying to find values that equal zero. So four is one of them. So I'm going to say the width is equal to four. And if you want to go and look at it in a different way, you can actually hit second and trace, which C-A-L-C means calculate. You can find the zero values based on the graph. So I'm going to find something. Try to figure out where the actual thing is. See the values flipping around down here. So this is to the left, technically, because here's the point. So I'm going to hit enter. The right bound, they just want something that's to the right of it. So this is slightly to the right. And then in the middle, 4 and 0. So W is equal to 4. That's definitely an opportunity for me to do that. And since the length is W plus 6, I would just do 4 plus 6 and give me 10. That's my final answer. So that's one way that you can do it. Let's go back and look at it in case you want to. And by the way, if that's good enough for you, you can move on. But if you'd like to look at it in terms of factoring, we can do that too. Now, we're looking for a value that gives us negative, or two values that gives us negative 40. And when I add them together, it gives me a 6. So I'm going to do factor list for 40, uh, 1 and 40, 2 and 20, 4 and 10. Well, hey. This number tells me that the values for, so this is going to be W plus and W minus, because in order to get a negative, you have to multiply negative times positive. So it also means that I'm going to subtract two numbers to give me this 6. If this was a plus, I'd be adding two numbers to give me this. So in this case, negative 40 has factors that subtract, which are 10 and 4, and they do equal 6. So there's two options here. I could have 10 minus 4 equals 6, or negative 10 plus 4 equals 6. But it doesn't equal 6 because 4 minus 10 is equal to negative 6. I want the one that gives me this plus 6 here, so this is my grouping. This is out. So all I do is where the plus is, that's where the 10 goes, and since it was minus 4, I just put the 4 right there. Those are my factors. Now I'm ready to solve w plus 10 equals 0, w minus 4 is equal to 0 as well. So I'm ready to solve these two, subtract 10. w is equal to negative 10. So there is a solution at negative 10. Unfortunately, that is a negative length, and that's not possible. So to get rid of minus 4, I add 4 to both sides. w is equal to 4. And as we discovered earlier, 4 plus 6 is 10. So my length is 10. Having this was extremely helpful. Uh, it could be extremely helpful, especially if you get nervous taking a test, because it reminds you to go back. So setting this little statement up very early on made everything flow much more smoothly. So do that for yourself so you're not adding additional stress onto your life or doing a bunch of work and writing four down there and getting it wrong. That's so annoying and nobody wants to go through it, and I don't want you to go through it either. So there we go.